According to Facebook, today is National Sibling Day. Sometimes I think people at Facebook make things like this up so that people post silly pictures of them and their siblings and things like that. Our brother and we are nine years apart, and so sometimes they kept us a little separated in the things that we did. Let's see, do I have a sibling story? Oh yeah, I know one. So when I was in third grade, we had PE, physical education. And we had PE in the gym, which was all the way across this long asphalt parking lot. So when it came time to do PE, we would line up in a single file line and go out to the gym. Well, this particular day I was walking out toward the gym, I tripped over my feet and I fell. I fell forward, but instead of like falling out like this, I fell on my face. And it wasn't like I just fell on my face and that was it. I fell onto the black pavement on my face and I slid on my face. It didn't particularly feel good. So when I got up from sliding on my face, everything on this side of my face was gone. There, there was no skin anywhere on this side of my face. The immediate comparison would be that I looked like Two-Face. Yes, the Two-Faced nemesis of Batman. Two-Face. And like any normal third grade kid who slides across pavement on their face, I cried like a baby. So fast forward to later on that afternoon. My brother, being nine years older than I am, was in high school at the time of this accident. And young boys in high school like to date girls. And my brother was dating a girl at the time. I think her name might have been Brandy, maybe. So that evening, after I had fallen on my face and scarred myself horribly, we were going as a family to some sort of event or concert or something in town that night. My mother, my father, me, my brother, and his date. Naturally, my brother was extremely enthused to be going on a date with his girlfriend and his parents, and his little brother. So tensions were a little high to begin with. So back in that day, as if I'm 80 years old, the car that we had had a large bench seat on the front. So three people could sit in the front seat of a car. We didn't worry about seat belts then either. So because we were picking up my brother's date, she was going to ride in the back seat with my brother, and because I was the annoying little brother, I had to sit in the front seat between my mother and father. So we get to the young lady's house, and I'm sitting in the front seat doing my best to behave, and of course, all third grade boys have innocence and purity in their minds. Well, it was still, you know, pretty much daylight outside, and so, you know, I wanted to say hello to the young lady. I mean, it's common courtesy to want to say hello to someone. And so I wanted to turn around to tell the young lady hello. But I knew that just gradually turning around and telling her hello was not going to be sufficient. It had to be fast. I had to do it quickly because it just seemed right. Innocence and purity. And it never crossed my mind that half of my face was gone. Hello came out more like <laughs> Two Face. A blood curdling scream inside a vehicle is not pleasant. 
I, I scared the daylights out of the poor girl. I'm not sure what that has to do with sibling day today. I do distinctly remember though after this incident she did give me a Batman mug for Christmas. Happy sibling day, brother.